We're here with Truman women's soccer head coach Mike Cannon to talk about the Bulldogs weekly recap, looking back at a pair of wins last week and looking ahead at a road trip to Oklahoma this week. Coach, let's talk about last weekend's home wins, a pair of shutouts against Missouri Western and Northwest Missouri. Uh, let's go ahead and give us a quick summary of those games. Sure. Um, you know, home openers in the conference, a uh, good way to start. A couple, uh, couple solid shutouts. Uh, Friday, first half I thought we played, you know, one of our best halves of the year. Um, I don't think they had a shot. You know, we had a bunch of shots. We only scored one goal. That was the, um, well, my one concern. Just we created pretty many chances and only put one away. Um, though it was early, so that was that was nice to score early. Uh, second half, you know, we let them back in the game a little bit. Uh, they weren't overly dangerous, but. Yeah, I thought. I think overall on the day, I thought we played really well. We, you know, we just waited till late to kind of put the game away. Um, but real happy, you know, with our play uh, Sunday. You know, kind of weird that I didn't think we played quite as well. I think Northwest is a little bit of a stronger team at, at this point in the season. Uh, real high scoring team. You know, first half. I don't know. We were kind of up and down. Uh, not sh- as sure of ourselves. I don't know if we're a little bit tired for Friday or, or what. Uh, and Northwest was very direct and put pressure on our backs, but. Uh, you know, we scored, you know, two goals. First one's kind of getting out against the run of play, but, you know, kind of out of nothing. Uh, and the second goal was just right before halftime, which I think was like a real key key blow to be up 2-0 at halftime and really not playing, you know, our best. Uh, second half, I thought we played a lot better. Um, you know, we got attacked on another goal late. Um, but, you know, against a team that's almost, almost averaging, I don't even know, like three or four goals a game, uh, to shut, give them their first shutout. Uh, you know, again, credit to the team for working really hard and getting two uh, two important wins in the conference. We'll talk about the defense first. Obviously, Emily Bosdek's got five straight shutouts in net. The back line uh, hasn't allowed a goal since the season opener against Minnesota State. Uh, how, how well is the defense playing right now? What are they doing well? Uh, well, you, we're, we're playing well uh, as a team. You know, it's not just the back four, but you know, the entire team. Um, you know, we're scoring early in some of the games, so that makes it a little bit easier on our on our backs. So our offense is trying to help out there. Um, you know, Friday we weren't that busy. You know, Emily only had to make a save or two, but she made the save she needed to make, and our and our back four did a very good job of, um, you know, take care of anything that you know, put out the little fires that, that might uh, pop up. Uh, Sunday was probably the shakiest we looked in the first half in the back, and I don't know, like we just seemed unsure of ourselves, but kind of played our way out of that. Uh, but they've been really key. You know, we've. Uh, uh, we've had a pretty set group back there. You know, three of the four have played. You know, almost 90 minutes a game. Um, so you know, and I think I like our depth there too. We haven't even had to use it that much, but I do like our depth in the back. Uh, and Emily's been, you know, she's been great. Um, you know, when, when we need her, she's making uh, key saves. Uh, you know, we're playing it back to her at times and keeping possession when uh, you know otherwise we might be kicking out of bounds. But I think you know she's been great, uh, so even against teams that have been kind of direct corners we haven't given away a ridiculous amount but you know, I think she's done a good job patrolling kind of like the six yard box and just a bit outside of that so our backs know they don't have to win every header like she's going to come and get a lot of that stuff too. Talk about what it means to your team uh, on Sunday you get two goals out of, uh, from Christina Wisher a couple of assists from Melanie Hunt a couple of players that are stepping up in the goals and assist categories that you know hadn't been early in the season. Yeah I mean you know you want to have balanced scoring um, you know I think it's going to be three main kids that are going to do most of the scoring uh, this season because they get the most minutes as well. Um, you know, Christina, you know, I think she only played about 20 minutes anyway in the, in the game. Uh, probably got in like the last five, ten minutes of the first half and scored, and then she got in again and scored again, which is great. Um, you know, she's been pretty, uh, I don't know if desperate's the right word, but, you know, really trying her hardest to score a goal. So it was nice to see her get rewarded for, for a lot of the hard work she's put in. Uh, and, you know, Melanie, you know, she served such a great ball. Um, you know, played a great early ball in to, to Trisha for the first goal, and then the, the corner kick was, uh, you know, great ball, you know, right into the danger danger area. Uh, you know, we need those kids uh, coming off the bench. You know, Alexis Heffernan, one of our freshmen, got an assist as well in that play. Um, you know, the kids that are coming in to to, to spell, um, you know, Trisha, Kelsey, Olivia. You know, the more production we get out of them, the more minutes they get, the more balance we have. So it's you know, kind of catch twenty two, but. Uh, it was good to see uh, that we're not just relying on just a couple kids to get our scoring when we need it. All right, hitting, hitting the road this weekend for another long road trip, second long trip of the year. Uh, key weekend for a couple of Oklahoma schools that are playing really well this year. Yeah, no, this is a huge weekend. Uh, like I said, like our longest, uh, probably our longest trip, maybe a little bit longer than uh, Sioux Falls, but uh, you know, longest conference trip for sure. 
against two you know real quality opponents. Uh, you know, UCO just dropped their first game this week, but they've been you know scoring a bunch of goals and you know taking care of business. And uh, in Northeastern State, we haven't played them in a few years, but uh, they've always been a pretty a pretty good team. Uh, they're off to a great start too, scoring a lot of goals as well. Uh, you know, Missouri Southern went down there last week and dropped dropped both games. You know, fairly tight games, but. Uh, you know, on the road's always tough, but against good teams on the road uh, makes it doubly uh, difficult. So, uh, you know, if we go down there and get some results, uh, I think, you know, we'll be, we'll be pretty pleased. It's going to, you know, we know we got a lot of work to do this weekend uh, to get the results we want. All right, the Bulldogs 5-1 and one on the season, 2-0 and o to start the MIAA at Central Oklahoma on Friday afternoon before visiting Northeastern State on Sunday. Uh, we'll have link to, links to live stats if they're available uh, through TrumanBulldogs.com. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.